Katrine, um, I was just talking about what Republicans have said about your negotiators. Can you characterize how you guys feel about Congressman McHenry and Graves and how they've been negotiating up to this point? Look, what I can say is that the negotiations have been productive, which is what matters. The conversations continue, which is what matters. And the focus is on what uh, what the leaders said themselves, what Speaker McCarthy and what the President said as well, which is uh, the fault is off the table. We're going to continue to negotiate in good faith. And if that is what occurs, then we can get to a bipartisan, reasonable, uh, reasonable uh, negotiation or deal uh, on a budget on a budget deal. And that's what's important. And so that's going to be our focus here. Given where uh, Republican offers currently stand, are there any regrets about? during the negotiations since they haven't seemed to have moved all that much from where they were originally? So we, we believe they've been productive. That's what we believe. We believe the conversations, these uh, negotiations remain uh, productive, and that's the path that we're going to continue on. We believe that uh, there's a path here uh, to move forward. Of course, of course, there's going to be areas of disagreement. That's what negotiations are all, of, all about, right? That's why, there's that's why we're negotiating here. Uh, but look, we believe that we can get to a solution here. We can get to a bipartisan, reasonable uh, agreement. Uh, that, again, let's not forget, this this agreement has to get the support of Democrats as well as Republicans in the House and in the Senate. Okay. You just said repeatedly that you thought that talks had been productive, but you also opened the briefing by putting some House Republicans on blast that you put up on the screen. So how have talks been productive? So look, um, we just laid out, I just laid out the facts. That's all. I've actually, what I did was lay out the facts that I've been talking about and and highlighting for the past several months. And uh, I think it's always important to do that. I think it's always important uh, when I'm in front of you all and when, we're, when I'm talking to the American people for them to know exactly what's happening. And that's what I did. Now, are the talks productive? Yes, we believe that the negotiations, the budget negotiations that have been happening are continue to be productive. But at the same time, we think it's important to lay out the facts uh, for the American people as they are wondering and curious about what is happening right here in Washington, D.C. Well, what is the progress, the specific progress that's been made? I'm not going to get into specifics about what's being discussed uh, in these negotiations. We're going to give the negotiators some space, as we've been saying, to negotiate, to have a discussion, to have a conversation. We have been very clear. Yes. Is there, are, are there areas of disagreement? Absolutely. Which is what negotiations are all about. They're going to, we're moving in good faith, having those conversations in good faith. And we believe it's a path forward to get to, again, that bipartisan, uh, reasonable uh, budget agreement, because that is what is needed for it to actually move out of the House uh, and move out of the Senate into the, the, uh, on the desk, to the desk of the president. And then lastly, on that point, June 1st, just around the corner, does the White House believe that it will have the money to keep paying the United States' bills beyond June 1st? Would it be a day, two days, how long? So look, any any specifics on the X date and what that's going to look like post X date, that's something that the Treasury Department uh, is, is is going to answer or that's something that they're going to look at. I'm not going to speak from that to that from here. What I can tell you is our our focus is to avoid that. Our focus is to give the negotiators some space to continue to have this conversation, to continue to co come to an agreement that is bipartisan, that can get out, again, get out of the House, get out of the Senate, and get to the President's desk so he can sign it. And that's going to be our focus right now.